Hey guys, on this episode of Diabolical Lovers, we get a Yuma-centered episode. And if you have forgotten who he is, or you don't even know who he is, he is one of the Mukami brothers with the orange hair, and he likes to call our main protagonist, young male-female protagonist. So, remember her name is Yui, but she has very um, different names, varying from different vampires. So in this episode, we get a little background on Yuma, and I can say for sure that all four Mukami brothers were grown up were grown up in the slums. They don't have no parents. Their parents either abandoned them from when they were really young, or their parents died. So they had no other choice but to grow up in these dark, pitful places. And eventually, he found one of his closest friends, but he did state that all of them died. So the friend that we did see who extended his hand to him, he has died. His upbringing was pretty tough. All of them, for all of the Mukami brothers, their upbringing was very tough until this mysterious person who they are much indebted to came, found them, and like raised them as his own sons. Uh, eventually, you know, they always suck her blood in the middle of the episode. That's to be expected, so it should be no surprise. Anyhow, we also found that one of his little hobbies is gardening, that even though he is a vampire, he still likes to eat. He also is a hybrid, if you have forgotten. So he is he was once a human turned into a vampire. And by the end of the episode, we get some clarification on why they kidnapped Yui. And the reason for that is because she is part of this plan, this Adam of Apple plan by this mysterious person who they are, like I said, is indebted to. And they're trying to awaken the blood of Eve in Yui's body. So this is just like season one. It's just a total different person. I don't know if this Eve is... um she's using Yui's body as a host or something of another, like her heart is in Yui's heart, so Cordelia's heart has magically disappeared out of nowhere. But all we know is that her blood is in Yui and it has still yet to be awakened. So they're trying different ways to awaken that blood inside of her. Like I said, this episode um, for today was very straightforward, nothing too much to be surprised except for the ending where the plan is taking process. They're trying to figure out different ways to um, to get Yui to awaken. So tell me your thoughts on this episode of Diabolical Lovers More Blood. Do you like it? Do you think it, they can do better with this series? Can they create more excitement or something? Tell me down in the comment section below. Um, you can check us out on Twitter and Tumblr. If you'd like to become a member of our Facebook page, it's in the description box. And you just click the link and just ask for a membership, request a membership. And that's basically all I have for today. I will see you guys later.